Hello, I'm Saxon 564 and welcome to my first IRC scripting tutorial. In this tutorial, <laughs> in this tutorial I will be covering how to how to get MIRC the basic scripting client as well as how to connect it to a chat room and the basic layout of an IRC script. So let's start with how to get the MIRC client. So you open up your preferred browser and go to MIRC.com. So this is their main page. What you want to select is download MIRC and then it'll take you to here. You click download now. Then it'll bring you to this screen. And eventually it'll start up your download like this. So we're going to save it to the desktop. And then we have it. So you can close out of the browser now. And there's your downloaded file. All you have to do is double open it up, click run, and it'll bring you to the installation guides. Once it opens up here, well, I've already got it installed, so just follow. Th there we go. It'll ask you to do that, then it'll bring up this. I agree. Next. And this, if you've never installed MIRC before, this won't pop up, and it'll just go to the installation, but since I've already installed it, I don't need to. So now, once you've got that uh, all done, when you open up MIRC, it's going to look something like this. There won't be any servers right over here right, right away, but all you have to do is... Uh, if you don't buy it, you've got a 30-day trial period. And I think it's kind of like WinRAR, where even after the trial period, you can still use it. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But, I'll, but you just click Continue, and it'll bring up this Options window. So you just fill out... This page, it's simple information, what your name will be, and you can, op optional, you can put in your real name and an email, which I'm going to, and then you go to servers, so it'll have a bunch of different servers, you can delete all of them. So, I'll delete all of these, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got them all deleted. Now to add a server, all you've got to do is click Add, and then fill out this. Usually IRC servers start with IRC dot, and in this case I'm using Mibit. Because that, I've done a lot of IRC in the past and it was always with Mibit, so it's the one I'm most comfortable with. So now that you have that added, you can go through the options on perform. I've already got this nick registered, so I do NC identify. And then hit OK. So let's see here. Let's go through these options and see what needs to be checked. Whoops. Rejoin channel when kicked. Keep channels open.
and um for my sake with logging everything I need to make sure it has timestamps uh you can choose not to have them if you want if you'd rather not have timestamps but from what I've seen it makes it a lot easier okay so we've now got all that set and then to select the server just double click it and then hit OK now it'll go through a connecting process then it'll bring up a list like this you can just select them all and delete them now the channel I'm going to add hashtag Saxon tutorial now this is an open room for everyone to join and if you if you have any questions about anything I go over, here is the place to do it. Um, what did I do wrong here? Oh, I see what I did wrong. There we go. So, in order to fix that, and click this icon, and you select your server. No, nope, not that. Um, where was it? Options perform. That needs to be an S. There we go. Okay. So you've joined your first chat room. But how do you get to scripting? Well, to start scripting, you need to select this icon, Scripts Editor. And it'll come up with aliases, pop-ups, remote users, and variables. Now, the aliases and pop-ups you don't need to worry about right now. Um, I may go over those a bit later. What we are looking at is the remote. and what you need to do is I'd rather not use an INI file so hit new file and then do file save as and then for this I'm just going to label it tutorial.mrc So now that we have that, we can start coding. Now for, I'll go over all the basic block structures that it can react to for this. So to start, we just simply put on, star, colon, and this is where it, this is what it reacts on. So a basic one is connect and then that would be it then you'd have your text there and you'd close it so that so that's a simple one on um, join star Then I'll go over what each of what the stars mean. On uh, quit, I think that's just one. On leave star.
Um, there's also on text star star. There's one more. I can't remember what it's called, but it reacts to the slash me command. So, those are just some basic ones. Now, the first star in all of these, um, if if you add a user, you do it. You give them a title like owner Saxon five six four. So if I was to say on join, on owner join, it would only react to whoever is marked as owner in here. So it's basically, it's a lot easier to keep it as a star. <laughs> so I don't often have to mess with that one, but every now and then it is helpful. The second one is... And these two are the channel. The last one is, for the text is the channel. And this one is what it's looking for as the text. So, now that we've covered all that, I think what we'll do is on text, we'll modify this one real quick. On text, hi for... Saxon tutorial. <laughs> then MSG Saxon tutorial. Hi. So now, if I pull up, where'd it go? Okay, I've got to open up Ice Chat again here because I don't see it. Oh, there it is. So let's see here. <laughs> Can close this one. There we go. So now, if in here we say hi, the bot responds hi. So, that, that'll that be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover how to react to some more commands, as in, as well as some situations. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.